Have you ever pondered over the scenario when the prices of goods and services decrease over time? This phenomenon, known as deflation, is an intriguing economic concept. It's a period of declining prices for goods and services, which can increase the purchasing power of your money. To paint a clearer picture, imagine a gallon of milk that costs $2 today, costing just $1.80 tomorrow. That's deflation in action. But what causes this economic phenomenon? Well, there are several factors at play. Firstly, a decrease in the money supply. When the government or central bank reduces the amount of money in circulation, there's less money chasing the same amount of goods and services, causing prices to fall. Secondly, a decrease in aggregate demand can also lead to deflation. If consumers and businesses spend less money, perhaps due to a recession, a war or a natural disaster, prices can drop. Lastly, an increase in productivity can trigger deflation. When businesses become more efficient, producing more goods and services with the same amount of input, the supply outpaces the demand, leading to a fall in prices. Deflation, like most economic phenomena, can be a double-edged sword with both positive and negative effects. On the positive side, deflation can increase purchasing power, making consumers feel wealthier as they can buy more goods and services with the same amount of money. It can also reduce debt burdens, making it easier for borrowers to repay their debts and potentially boosting economic activity. However, the flip side presents some challenges. Deflation can deter businesses from investing in new projects if they believe the value of their investments will decline over time. It can also lead to increased defaults as businesses and individuals find it harder to repay their debts. Ultimately, deflation can slow economic growth by reducing consumer spending and business investment. So, how do central banks respond to deflation? Typically, by trying to stimulate the economy, they might lower interest rates, increase the money supply, or purchase government bonds. In sum, deflation is a complex phenomenon with both positive and negative consequences. It's crucial for policymakers to carefully consider these potential consequences when formulating economic policy. Understanding deflation, its causes and effects, can help in making informed decisions and navigating economic fluctuations.